recording this and if you wish to speak do um, unmute yourself temporarily but try and keep any background noise to a minimum and I'm also going to start by sharing my screen with you and the topic today is all about um, deception or trying to confuse the opponents um, or sort of keeping uh, keeping things hidden uh, as far as possible. So let's start off with this hand. Um, and suppose you open one club there. I think you've got something like 15 points. There's a one spade over call. North bids three clubs and you rebid three no trump. You've got a good spade stopper. Sounds like you've got at least 15 uh, plus 10, 25 points. And you end up in three no trump. And let's suppose the opponents lead the seven of spades and let's stop to make a plan on this hand and see if you can start off by telling me how many top tricks have you got here <clears throat> do unmute yourselves four. i think it's four for sure we've got three hearts and the ace of diamonds ace of diamonds um we're also going to make at least one spade here because they've led a spade but the main source of tricks is going to be in clubs and we're hoping to make four club tricks we're going to lose one to the ace but we can make four clubs three hearts uh, one diamond and at least one spade so that's going to be our best source of tricks now let's suppose we play the nine hopefully um, but he plays the jack and we have to decide what to play here. We're going to play the king, the queen, or the four. And I'm actually going to launch a poll to ask you for your vote as to what should declare a play at trick one. This is quite a hard problem, although you may not think it hard. Um, but let me launch a poll. And the question is going to be, <clears throat> what should declare a play? The king? the queen or the four. So let me launch that poll now and please select one of those options. You could say I don't know, but um, just don't vote if you don't know. <clears throat> Do you all understand the question? to 83 percent 90 percent any more votes coming in okay so we'll end the polling there and i will share the results with you and then we'll discuss it and you can see most people here 48 percent went for the queen uh 22 percent went for the king and 30 percent went for the four of spades, decided to play low on that one. So um, so the majority went for the queen. And let's um, have a look at this hand. Let me uh, close that poll. And let's have a little think about this. Now, <clears throat> West here has overcalled. And they have presumably a five card or longer spade suit. Let's think about what's going to happen if we play low. If we let the jack win, presumably East will carry on with another spade. We'll play the king or queen, which West will win with the ace. And then they'll play another spade, knocking out our last um, spade. We'll make one spade trick there. Um, but now we'll be vulnerable in the spade suit, because if we play clubs now, it's probably more likely that West has the ace of clubs than East does. It's by no means certain, but based on the fact that West has overcalled there,
they're more likely to have more points than their partner. And if we have um, played it that way and then we let West get in with the ace of clubs, it's very likely that they'll now be able to rattle off spades and defeat us. Okay, so on this particular hand, I don't really like um, the idea of playing low here. Um, I'd much rather play the king or the queen. Um, for one, re one reason is it gives us a chance to make actually two spade tricks. And, um, <clears throat> and, and also um, on this hand, we think that West is more likely to have the ace of clubs. Now, let's suppose we win this trick and then play a club. West is going to win, presumably, they have the ace. Let's assume it's more likely that they have the ace. We would actually quite like them to carry on with another spade. I don't know if you can uh, see that, but let's just bring up the four hands. If we win this trick with the king or the queen and then play a club, which West wins, we actually will benefit if they continue with spades because, you know, if we play the... Um, the king or the queen there, and they win the ace of clubs. If they play another spade, we'll actually make a second spade trick. So we would quite like them to continue with another spade here. Now the question is, if you play the king or the queen, what inference can West make from it? If I play the queen here, if I win that with the, with the queen, which is what most people um, uh, chose, then West can actually figure out that if East is playing correctly, that you, South, have the king and the queen. In other words, if East had the king and the jack in, of spades, when their partner leads a spade, they should play the king, not the jack. Third hand plays high. And if East had the king and the jack, they should have played the king. If they play... So if I play the... Um, if I play the queen, I'm not fooling anyone. I'm, I'm, West should be able to work out that if they can rely on their partner to play correctly, that I also have the king. And that means if they gain the lead, they should not lead that suit. The card that I should actually play here, which is most likely to um, um, confuse West, is actually the king. Because now, when the jack is played and I play the king, West doesn't really know who's got the queen. It could be that East had it and played third hand as high as necessary and started with the queen and the jack and played the jack or it could be that they don't have the queen that i have it but basically by playing the king i am keeping the whereabouts of the queen um hidden so west does not know who's got the queen all right so what's going to happen if i win the king and if i play a club now and as we expected, West wins the um, ace of clubs. West doesn't really know whether to carry on with spades or not. If their partner had the queen, it would be absolutely right to play a spade. They would lead a low spade to their partner's queen, who would then play a spade back, and they would defeat the contract. But if I have the queen, they should not lead a spade. Okay? In fact, if I click here on the GIB button, it will tell me that West, if they lead a spade, I can make an over trick here. I can make plus one. Whereas if I lead anything else, um, then they can hold me to exactly uh, nine tricks. Do you follow that? So that, that's the idea there, that with the king and the queen in that situation, it's best to play the king because then West doesn't know who's got the queen. If you play the queen and it wins a trick, West should be able to figure out that you also had the king and didn't play it and 
uh, the, part the East didn't have it. So actually on this hand, it turns out that it's best, although West doesn't know this, not to play a spade. If they play a spade, we'll make an over trick, but we'll make two spade tricks. Um, but if they play something else, suppose they guess that the right thing to play is perhaps a diamond. Now, again, if I click on the GIB link, the computer is telling me that to make this contract, I must play the ace here. If I play a low diamond, I can be defeated by two tricks. What will happen is that East will play the king, and then East will play a spade, trapping my queen, and the opponent will make all those remaining spades. So on this hand, the way to make this contract now is not to risk playing low, trying to win with the queen, just going up with the ace of diamonds and then settling for your nine tricks, making your clubs. And once your clubs are gone, you can take three heart tricks. <clears throat> and that will be your nine tricks. After that, you'll probably be defeated, because they'll take uh, the king of diamonds, and we'll be able to take two spades. But you'll have made your your contract. But you did um, the best you could as declarer by playing the king there to try to confuse the opponents, to try to hide the whereabouts of the queen. Anyone have any questions? This is that's quite a hard one, I, I have to say. Um, but um, that is probably the best play there. Anyone have any comments or questions? I just wonder how you completely recognize the situation. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, you you have to. Um, it's not easy, and um, I I suppose you you need to think about the fact that you're going to lose the lead in clubs, and that West is likely to lead the suit, and and. Um, you, you kind of want to hide the position of, of the cards from the opponent. So it, it it's not easy. I don't know if I can give you a general rule there, but um, if I, you know, if I'd played the queen, then um, West should realize that I must have the king as well and, and would be less likely to lead it. But but it, it's not an easy one. This, this deception business, it can be quite tricky. Let's have a look at another one. This is um, one I've looked at before, um, but here West opened three clubs. That's a preempt, and it came round to South. And I think South should bid four hearts with this hand. You virtually have game in your own hand, and when they've preempted against you, you should bid on the assumption that your partner has some useful cards, maybe about seven points. So if you imagine your partner's got a couple of useful cards. Um, you should probably bid uh, four hearts there. And let's suppose the opponents lead the ace of clubs. And let's have a look at where we're in danger of losing tricks. How many losers do you think you have all together here? Have a quick count and tell me what you think. How many possible losers do you have? Let's put it that way. Three. Oh. I, I think we're in danger of losing two clubs <clears throat> and we're in danger of losing two diamonds, aren't we? In fact, it's more likely that the ace of diamonds is on our right with east because of that preemptive bid. They're probably quite weak. So we are in danger of losing four tricks. And this is how it may go. They might may take the ace and the king Okay, East discards there. So, um, and now uh, West knows that, that I have no more clubs either. So they may well shift to another suit. They may play a diamond. And if the diamonds are situated like this, East can take the ace and the queen, and we're defeated by losing the first four tricks. After that, whatever we play will just claim the rest. We've got wonderful trumps, but the defense has made the first four tricks. Was there anything we can do about that? Well, there's no legitimate way to make this. 
But one thing you can do when they play the ace of clubs is to make it look like your queen of clubs is a singleton by throwing it away. West doesn't really know whether that is a singleton queen or not. Um, and by playing the queen of clubs there, you're, you're, you're never going to make a trick with the queen. But what you're trying to do is to discourage them from playing another club, uh, making it look like that's a singleton. And you're false carding um, there. If West is taken in by that, they probably won't need another club. They might play a diamond like they did before. And although East can take the ace and the queen like they did, that's it. They can't um, uh, play clubs anymore. Um, so they might play a diamond, for example. If they play a diamond, you've got to uh, rough that one, of course. And with such good trump, let's rough high. Don't risk any over rough. Rough with the ace, right? Just showing off to your partner. Um, and now you're going to make your contract because you've got all those spades. You're just going to draw trumps. And once they've gone, you'll play out your spades and you'll make uh, 10 tricks there. So this is a sort of uh, well known subterfuge that South can employ, um, throwing away a card there to make it look like you've started with a singleton to discourage that suit being played again. Any comments or questions, do interrupt me. Um, here's another one that um, was actually played last year where some declarers managed to um, make uh, what possibly was an unmakeable contract. Um, this was board six from um, September in 2020. And you can see that if we look at the traveler here, that most people are in four spades or a few people in three spades. Um, and most people didn't make four spades. You can see according to the computer, um, North South can only make three spades there. And in fact, that's what happened to most people. Although three people, I think, managed to make 10 tricks. Two people made four spades. One person made three spades plus one. So I wanted to look at how this hand was played because um, it might be possible for you to manage four spades by um, a certain amount of concealment. So I'm going to look at how this was played three different ways. This was one hand where it was played where it went two spades, double, which is the takeout, and north jumps to four spades, which is, I think, quite a reasonable bid. Um, and the opponents lead a diamond. And let's have a look at this from Declarer's point of view. And we can see this as a fairly uh, hopeless contract because we're going to lose a spade, two diamonds, and it looks like we're going to lose a club, doesn't it? We've got those four losers. And it seems very unlikely we'll be able to, uh, to make this. So let's have a look at how it was played one time when it was made. And this is how it went. They took their ace of diamonds. They took their king of diamonds. They played a third round of diamonds which you roughed, and then Declara started drawing trumps. East got in with the ace of spades. East here played a heart, which was one in dummy with the ace, and then they played another round of spades. And if we look at the four hands at this point, we can see that East here is going to come under some pressure here because what Declara did was, even though all the trumps have gone, they carried on playing spades. And this is a good plan um, in a situation like this, where you're hoping to get the opponents to discard poorly. So they played another spade here. And then they played uh, another spade. And now West is coming under pressure as to what to discard. They'd like to keep their um, hearts and their clubs here. But which is the right suit for West to keep here? Well, 
looking at the four hands, you can see you must keep your clubs, right? But obviously as West, you can't see all four hands, but what you can see is dummy. And this is an example where West should keep length with dummy. West should hang on to their clubs and throw away their hearts if necessary, because there's only one heart in dummy. And you could you can tell that if Declara had any heart losers, they would be roughing them in dummy instead of playing the trumps like this. So what happened at this one was that West discarded the wrong thing. They discarded their clubs, thinking they would keep their hearts. Another spade, so they discarded another club. Then they played a heart, and now Declara will make the last three clubs. So they took their ace, and they made the last trick with the nine of clubs. So there was no legitimate way to make this, but by playing off all your trump, you give West discarding problems. But West should not um, keep the hearts, because there were only ever two hearts in dummy, they should be keeping their clubs to keep length with them. Any questions on that? What what Declara did was to was playing well by by leading trumps from their hand, hiding what they had from uh, from from the defence. Um, here's another time it was played, and this time the defence did rather better. It started off the same way with the three rounds of diamonds. Declara then played spades. They then switched to a club, which Declara won. And then Declara started playing spades. They played their hearts. They took their heart. And at this stage, you know, it looks like you've got an inevitable club loser. But again, Declara did well here to play their spades and West comes under pressure. But West must realize that their hearts are useless here because there are no hearts in dummy. So they must throw away their hearts, again, throw away their last heart, and the only suit where they can make anything is in clubs, and they will eventually make the queen of clubs and make nine tricks there. Okay, so that was defended well. Declara did the best they could, but uh, the defense kept the right thing. I also wanted to look at this um, other time it was played. Really, um, the bidding here was um, definitely wrong in many ways. Um, South on this one opened one spade with seven points. I mean, that's a, a very poor bid. Um, there was a double here, and then an equally poor bid, North bid two spades with um, 13 points. So two spades should be six to nine points. So that's, uh, again, a very bad bid. Uh, East bid three hearts and South bid four spades, which, again, is a, a very bad bid. You, your, your partner showing six to nine. I, I'm wondering whether if this was you, North South, you definitely need to uh, review your bidding because the, the bidding was very strange here. Um, and again, they, they didn't make it. I'll just show you how they played this one. Um, they played the diamonds, as before, they roughed there. And this declarer didn't draw trumps to start with. Instead, they cashed the ace king of clubs, which is a quite a, a risky thing. Then they played the ace king of hearts. Um, and now they played a spade. East won. And can you see, if you just look at this from East's point of view, looking at dummy, that East must realize the only suit they could possibly make any tricks in is clubs. So Declara, by playing in this way, has made the defense absolutely clear that he must play a club here and you know not play any other suit. And then, of course, your partner wins um, one trick to defeat the contract. So, um, so that was an example of how it should not go, if you like. Um, and then let's have a look at this one, um, which was, again, played in uh, some different ways. Um, this was played normally in three spades, and this is how I think the bidding should go. One spade, 
two clubs, or this hand could even double there. Um, two spades, that shows six to nine points. And South here, I think, has got um, 17 points. So knowing that their partner's got six to nine, they um, might invite game with three spades. Now, North, you've got eight points you might think about accepting. On the other hand, if you use a losing trick count, you've actually got a lot of losers in this hand. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten losers, which is actually worse than most two spade bids would be. So maybe you'll end up in just three spades here. And let's have a look at how it might go. The opponents will start off with the ace of clubs. And let's have a look at it from declarer's point of view and see if we can work out uh, how many tricks we can make here. How many losers do you think you have all together here? Do you unmute yourselves and tell me? Four. I think it's four, isn't it? Three clubs and a diamond. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, I think it's just three clubs, one diamond, no hearts and no spades. So um, hopefully we'll uh, make uh, make our contract. You can always hope to make more. And let's actually see if there's any chance of that. So the opponents start off with three clubs. Okay. Then suppose they shift to a diamond, which we win. And then we play a spade. And we draw trumps here. And we... Um, when we play the spades, we're again putting the opponents under pressure as to what to discard. They have an easy discard there of a club. The clubs are useless. But as we keep playing spades, West here can discard a heart here. But on, uh, on the last spade here, West has a problem as to what to discard because they'd like to keep their hearts in case they can make a trick there. Um, they'd also like to keep their diamonds, um, and they can't do both. So on this hand, West really does have a problem. It, it turns out, if I, as I click on the GIB link, that the right card to discard is a heart, which will hold declarer to nine tricks. But it's hard to know what Declarer's got in their hand. If Declarer had a third heart, it would be right to keep the hearts. Um, as it is, they discarded a diamond. And now Declarer made their two hearts. And when they played their diamond, they managed to make another trick with the eight. Because West didn't really know what to, what to discard. So... There is a slim chance to make an extra trick there with the eight of diamonds. It may not look like much, but you've nothing to lose by trying it. And the trick is to keep try and keep the lead in your hand so they can't see what you're leading from. And then at the end, if they have discarded the wrong thing, they will. Um, uh, you may make a trick with your eight of diamonds there. You may make an extra trick. Um, one other time it was played, let's um, just have a look at this. Um, it was played in a very similar way. They took their three clubs, they played a diamond, and Declara again had the same idea to play spades here. Okay, so they're playing spades. West is discarding clubs to start with. They then played a heart played a diamond and played another heart to the king. And this is the point they have made a mistake because what they should play now is another spade to, and then West has problems knowing what to discard. In fact, what they did was they played a heart which they roughed, okay, but that rough is telling the opponents that you have no more hearts left. And now when you lead your last spade, West has no problem because he knows you don't have any hearts. He'll throw away the heart and he'll keep the diamond. And played that way, 
you only made nine tricks there. So that was not played well. What De Clara did that was wrong was they tried to, they roughed the heart, um, but roughing the heart did not gain any extra tricks. They were roughing in the long hand. They were not going to lose any hearts anyway. And they also gave a message to the opponents that South has no more hearts left. So uh, West knew to discard a heart and keep a diamond and hold the clearer to nine tricks. So these are all um, methods of um, sort of keeping your cards hidden, playing off your long suits. And, you know, it, you, you can do this even if you don't have a really brilliant plan. Just play off your long suits, throw uh, in the hopes that the opponents will throw away something and you'll make an unlikely extra trick, as you can here with your last time. Okay, so those are all examples of um, <coughs> concealment or subterfuge or, or things to try to confuse the opponents. Anyone have any comments or questions on that? As I was saying, don't worry if you don't have a fully thought out plan. <coughs> Just sometimes play off all your long suits and you may end up with a winner at the end of it. Um, we'll end the um, <coughs> call in a minute. Um, I'm going to, uh, when we finished, just also ask 